Welcome back to the Biz Alchemy podcast, or welcome if it is your first time listening to me and the title, Would You Like to Join Me on Retreat in 2024, has grabbed your attention. Now, I must say, this is not what this week's podcast episode was going to be about. In fact, I recorded this week's podcast episode yesterday And the title of that is, Is There Another Word for Business? And I recorded it, I edited it, and then when I played it back with my good headphones, I went, hang on, something isn't right here. And I realized that I actually hadn't selected my good mic uh, for the audio, and so it had just used my computer recording, and the quality was really bad. You know, I'm okay. I'm good with imperfect action, but I could not inflict this upon you. So, you know, that had taken me two to three hours. I know. So I I, I lost hope after that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, no, I can't do it again today. Uh, that was yesterday. And so today I thought, okay, I woke going, okay, I'm going to do it today, but I haven't got the inspiration to re-record it. And I honor that, you know, I do not do shoulds in my business. So even though that was my intention and I have the notes there and I will re-record that when I feel excited to discuss that topic with you again, and that could be tomorrow, but I do want to share about my retreats next year. And in many ways, this is what I'm immersed in at the moment because I am creating them. I am putting the invitation out there. I've created pages on my website. So this is what I am immersed in. And I want to share it with you because if you're not on my newsletter list or you don't read all my newsletters, you may not be aware that I'm returning to Europe in 2024. And I now have four retreats that I'm offering. Now I'm calling them all retreats, but actually two are Biz Priestess retreats and two are Roseline Mystery Schools. And they're quite different. And the main difference being the Biz Priestess retreats uh, incorporate your business as well. So they're about your personal evolution, but they're also about your business's evolution. And they are shorter in time. The Roseline uh, Mystery School is all about your personal evolution and finding your, your reason for being here. What is the path you came here to walk? What are the gifts you came here to share? Why are you here at this amazing moment in time bridging the world between the old world that's falling apart and the new world or the new earth as I call it? You know, you've incarnated at this time to create the new earth or co-create it. We're doing it together. And so the mystery schools are about really diving deeply into your truth and who you are. Now, regardless of what you choose, the the mystery schools or the retreats, they are both life-changing. They're transformational and they're fun. They're really fun to come together in a group of women who truly see you for who you are is the most profound experience. And to be honest, you just don't want to leave that space. It's like this little heaven on earth, just being in that and being able to fully exist in the new earth, in the fifth dimensional reality for that time. It's like you don't get taken out of it at all like normal life, old normal life does. And that is pretty special. And that's the reason your vibrational shifts are so huge when you join me on these retreats. Before you get too excited, go, oh, I'm, I'm coming to all four. Um, I'll, I'll give you some details because in actual fact, two of them are booked out. So I offered a Biz Priestess retreat in Ireland in July. That's just a small retreat. There are six people and that is now fully booked. Also, the Roseline Mystery School in Assisi. And this is for those who have already attended Provence this year. So that is also booked. So what I have available is the Roseline Mystery School in Provence, and that's on from the 18th to the 25th of May. This experience, oh, this year, like it's it was mind-blowing. It is full immersion in beauty, in joy, in laughter, in wisdom, 
it's I, I, it's so hard to even find the words to describe it. And it is a retreat from from the world, really. It is such a sacred place. The accommodation is beautiful. I will warn you, you will not leave that mystery school the person that you were when you went in. And that can be a little discombobulating when you arrive back home and everyone there expects you to be the same person that you were before you went away. So this is really for you if you are ready to dance with change, if you are ready to be your truth, if you are ready to shine your light as bright as it can shine. That's what Provence will do. Now, if this is getting you a little bit excited, there are eight places and people are starting to book. I won't go into all the logistics here because they're all on my website and you can go to the page at JacquelineAtkins.com forward slash Provence. I'll put that link in the show notes. And there's a, a full page there with images from this year. I want to keep saying last year, but it was this year. Um, a description, as much as I can give you a description, because we co-create this. When everyone comes together, that's when I know what teachings to bring through. So it's very difficult for me to give you too much information before. I'm more setting the scene for what it is. But all of that's there. The costing is there. What's required in terms of deposits, the early bird pricing, all the logistics you need are there. And I am also going to put together a page of all images from this year's retreat to give you a real uh, sort of sense of what it is. But I've yet to do that. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks that will be done. So that's the wonderful mystery school. Last week, because the Island Biz Priestess sold out so quickly, last week I decided that I would offer a second Biz Priestess retreat. And this one is in Glastonbury, where we also went this year. I'm changing it slightly in that I've chosen a different location for where I hold the retreat. It's a beautiful house with the most magnificent gardens right in central Glastonbury, near the Chalicewell Gardens, near the High Street. I'm really excited about holding it there and to have our own gardens to go into um, while we're retreating. So Glastonbury set up a little bit different in that you find your own accommodation. So basically you're paying for the retreat, which is going from the 5th to the 8th of June. So it's almost three days. We'll, we'll go till sort of mid-afternoon on the third day, which is the Saturday. So as I mentioned at the beginning, in this retreat, this is about you and it is about your soul path, but it's also about your soul path in alignment with your business. So this is about how are you anchoring in the new earth energy in your business and how are you and your business you know, doing the dance into new earth together? What are you co-creating? This is going to be different actually to what I offered uh, this year. In, I know it's going to be different. I can sense it, but I don't quite know how. I think I, there's still a lot for me to download before then. But if you wish to be immersed in the beautiful energy, amazing, sacred energy of Avalon and visit you know, the Tor and Chalicewell Gardens and Glastonbury Abbey and the White Springs and, oh my gosh, <laughs> all of that fun stuff. I truly didn't think I'd go back uh, next year. So I'm pretty excited about going back there. So if this is drawing you and you like the idea of doing it this way, where you come to the retreat um, through the day and then you have your own accommodation at night, we'll still possibly go out for dinner together or and we'll have lunch together. But um, you have a lot more freedom with this one. So if that interests you, it is not on my website yet. And I may, it may not even make my website. It depends how quickly uh, it books out. But there are still uh, five places remaining for that. And if you are interested in one of those places, send me an email, email at JacquelineAtkins.com. And let me know that you're interested and I will send you the itinerary. I have actually written it all out. It just hasn't gone onto my website yet. So if you fancy a little bit of Avalon in June of 2024, let me know. I'd love to have you there. After having the experiences of 
Provence and then Glastonbury, as well as another one that I held in Vienna this year, after having those experiences, those in-person experiences. And this is for me, like not as a participant, but, but as the space holder of the retreats, the changes in my life, I actually feel teary even speaking about it. Like, you know, it's not even the changes in my life. It's the changes within me, my, the understanding I have of myself and my path here and why I am truly living, who I am meant to be, who I came here to be. It's not a meant to be. It's who I came here to be and how my business is the most beautiful portal for me to do that. It's it's so difficult to describe that to you, but hopefully you can feel it in my energy. You can hear it in the sound of my voice. It's a truly, truly alchemical experience to come together because it's a soul group. We've agreed to come together and be in person at these retreats. We've agreed to activate each other. So if this is, if either of these are really calling you and you know you must be there, just watch the stories that can come up around that. And of course, there are stories. There are stories around money. There are stories around time. There are stories around children or partners or parents. There are stories there. And I'm not saying that those stories don't have some validity, but recognize, are they a story? And if you feel, yeah, they are, all you must do It's simple. It's ask the universe, how can I make this happen? I feel such a calling to be there. How can I make this happen? How can I bring this into being? And let the universe bring you the answers. We can get so fixated on the story that we close down all the channels. And there's no way that the universe's answer or guidance can come into us. But just... Be aware that if it is pulling at your soul so strongly, it means there's a solution. So open yourself to that solution. And if you are meant to join me in Glastonbury or in Provence in 2024, it will happen. I hope to see you there.